the project, let me talk about mommy and daddy business. In other words, we talk about adolescent sexual reproductive health. It's a Danish TV funded project. Uh, Danish TV is an organization that mobilizes fund to support uh, organizations that are uh, in the business of promoting adolescent sexual reproductive health. And uh, for us as, as, as Rainbow, we see it to be very good because, you know, we are survivors, are people that are raped and people that suffer from, from sexual assault. And, you know, so you see the connect between the project, the sexual reproductive health, and what we do as an organization. Well, it is affecting us greatly because it is bringing down our school level for girls' retention. It is affecting girls' retention in school. They do start, start school at a greater number, up to middle school, then to final school now, then we'll get the drop out because negative, due to negative peer influence, there are other prevailing circumstances like poor parenting, I will not say poverty. Most of the cases that we see are young people that are raped and most of them become pregnant along the way and most of them, they prove positive of HIV and, and other STIs. You know, so bringing this project that we engage these young people, tell them about their sexuality, tell them about the dangers behind, you know, sexual reproductive health, you know, so you see that there is a great connect between what we do and, and, and the project. This project is useful to this community because we don't get 20 cases then we are in you can see a 25 years, 30 years of age man can go rip small picking. Yes. So to, if this project come, I believe say a way will stop all of them in the also. A way will make changes take place in this community. Our target audience are the adolescents and the young adults. When we talk about adolescents, we are talking about 10 to 19 years, and then 20 to 24 years. These are the people we are really targeting. Most of the people there, what makes make some of you, they will get Belena to eat. We're in already stages, you say go to the market, then we go to the market, then you go sell, we lost. Wait till later, before you call your advice, you say, next time, not do this again, oh. Do I know say red that money? What did they do? They tell you because say me money now I want. What is not count me money? Oh, me you. Yes. So where they go now? Now they go do now. But they go meet in friends. Say me mama say that like, guy money. What go sell for her? They say you know sabi that boy. They go they go meet and they way go now. Then they go do now. See. We for now not targeting the entire country because the nature of this project is such that we want the adolescent and the young adults to make, I mean, positive use of the social media, which is usually, I mean, their baby. You sometimes see adolescents sitting in their corner, glued to their, to their smartphones. I mean, usually what they are doing there is seeking information, and some of these information are kind of not really useful for their sexual reproductive well-being. So we want to change that narrative use this, the, the smartphone, social media, for them to access positive information. So you find for talk to you begin, more like you the daddy, for talk to you boy begin. Now you the mommy, if we're also able for the talk to you, you, you girl begin, because of the, the area that you self come, come up from. So you will well understand what you begin will come, will come uh, facing. So if we're able for tell them, um, what in a what in a you experience? Uh, what in bring you failure? What in bring you success? So you be able to tell and the picking go follow that kind um, uh, uh, route the or route the. Uh, I have a very big expectation, uh, expecting that by the time this project is completed, and uh, we cannot get much of reports on sexual matters or any other domestic violence matters. And also, the, the people, the citizens, will now know the pathway to follow up with matters that are related to sexual and domestic violence matters. Like reporting matters, I expect the community to know where to take cases, when and how to report, and to be aware that 
these are matters that cannot be compromised and they need not to be settled at home, not to discuss within family because they are serious matters. At the end of the project, we want to see the adolescent attain his or her full potential to showcase that adolescents are not the type of people people perceive them to be, i.e., I mean, they can be used as sex uh, tools or whatever, but they can be useful in the society to make the society grow, especially in the area of sexual reproductive health. So we want to see them get that information and move forward.